Hi friends, today we are going to do one of the, one of the most important sets in BI which, have been, which has been asked in CAT. It's on Purana and Naya Mixer Grinders. So all the students who haven't downloaded the set, please do so and please read the set and then we'll continue from there. Hi, we are going to start with the first set in your, uh, in your chapter, that is set 1. If you look at the set, it's a set of bar graph. All the information given is in terms of graph and the values are given on the top of the graph. So the immediate feeling is that it's a bar graph set and hence it's going to be easy. But let me warn you that that might not be the case and there might be a possibility that the set will be difficult even though all the values are given. Let's read the set. Purana and Naya are two brands of mixture grinders available in the local market. Purana was an old brand that was introduced in 1990 while Naya was introduced in 1997. For both these brands, 20% of the grinders bought in a particular year were disposed of as junk exactly 2 years. According to me, that is the most important information in the set. 20% of the mixture grinders bought in a particular year were disposed of exactly 2 years later. Okay, Which also immediately tells me that all the values of the number of mixture grinders introduced in a particular year will have to be a multiple of 5 only then the number of mixture grinders disposed of can be a whole number. So this is a very very important information for us in the set that all the values which are introduced will always will have to be multiple of 5. It is known that 10 Purana mixture grinders were disposed of in 1997. The following figure shows the number of Purana and um, Naya mixture grinders in operation from 1995 to 19, uh, 2000 as the end of the year. Okay, in this set, if you see, the information between Naya Mixer Grinder and Purana Mixer Grinder is not overlapping. So, if a student has to solve even at least two questions, that is question number one and two, only on Naya Mixer Grinder also he could do it. And if the student was solving only question three and four about Purana Mixer Grinder, he could do it. Also, from the given data, it is very clear that solving questions of question one and two will be much easier, that is of Naya Mixer Grinder, because all the information of Maya Mixer Grinder is available. While in the case of Purana Mixer Grinder, we do not have information from 1990 to 1994. So that information is missing. So let's look at it. Let's look at what I have created on the board, a table for the same. In 1997, 30 Naya Mixer Grinders were introduced. Nothing was disposed of because there was nothing from the previous years. And hence the total of 30 is there. 1998, the total number shown in the graph is 80. Nothing was still disposed of and which means that 50 were introduced. But in 1999, 124 mixture grinders are there in total. A total of 124 Naya mixture grinders are there. Six of them were disposed of in that year which is actually 20% of 30. And hence we come to know that 50 Naya mixture grinders were introduced in 1999. Continuing the same pattern for, 19, uh, for 2000, we see 134 mixture grinders in 2000. We know 10 have been disposed of, which is 20% of 50, and which means that the number of mixture grinders introduced in 2000 were 20. Now, how many Naya mixture grinders were disposed of by the end of 2000? The question asking us is, how many Naya mixture grinders were disposed of by the end of 2000? So by the end of 2000, the number of mixture grinders which will be disposed of will be 20% of the mixture grinders which were introduced by then. So by 2000, so we have these two figures to be disposed of, that is 6 mixture grinders plus 10 mixture grinders, a total of 16 mixture grinders were disposed of. So hence we have answer to question number 1 as option 2, a total of 16 mixture grinders were disposed of. A very common mistake over here is that the students forget to read the word by. If they do not read the word by, they would have got the answer only as 10. But we have to realize here they are asking us what is the total number of mixture grinders disposed of. So that is 6 plus 10, 16. Okay, we also notice that the second question is also a Naya mixture grinder. Question is how many Naya mixture grinders were purchased in 1999? Now if you look at the table which I have created, we already have an answer to that question. That is the number of Naya mixture grinders Purchase in 1999 is 50. So actually both the questions go hand in hand. And you have actually solved both the questions together. So the information which you interpreted for the first question is also helping you get an answer for the second question. 
Quickly, let's have a look at question number three and four, and we realize both the questions are on Purana Mixa Grinders, which means all the information which we have now here is going to be completely useless because we'll have new information for the question number three and four. So you also have a choice whether you actually want to solve only two questions in set or solve all four in an exam scenario. Question number three and four both are based on Purana Mixture Grinders. So if you see, the issue is in Purana Mixture Grinder, we do not have the values from 1990 to 1994. And hence, there's always a fear that these two questions can be slightly more difficult than the first two. But we have one extra information which I put down over here in red, that the number of dispersed mixture grinders in 1997 is 10. Now based on this, can I hence align to the value which I am interested in, that is the number of mixture grinders manufactured in 1999. Now let's have a look at it. The total number of mixture grinders in 1996 is 162. In 1997, 10 were disposed of and still the total was maintained at 182. Therefore, the number of mixture grinders man manufactured in 1997 will have to be 30, which is 162 minus 10 plus x is equal to 182 giving you x as 30. So we got number of mixture grinders manufactured in 1997 as 30. Which will now tell me the number of mixture grinders disposed of in 1999 as 6, 20% of 30. Similarly to what we just did for 1997, I can do the same thing for 1999. 222 minus 6, 216 plus x is equal to 236, giving me the value of x as 20 and also giving me the answer for question number 3rd. So now this tells me the answer for question number 3rd is 20, option number 1. Okay. In question number 4, we have been asked how many Purana mixture grinders were disposed of in 2000. So which means we are looking at this value, number of mixture grinders disposed of in 2000. Now if you look at the total of 1999 and 2000, you realize that the number is same. Which tells us that the number of mixture grinders disposed of in 2000 and the number of mixture grinders introduced in 2000 will have to be same. Now the number of mixture grinders introduced in any particular year will have to be a multiple of 5, otherwise the number of mixture grinders disposed two years down the line will be a fraction, which is not possible. Hence, I am assuming this value to be 5x. So, let's go through this once more. We are assuming this value to be 5x as the number of mixture grinders introduced in any particular year will have to be a multiple of 5. So, 5x mixture grinders were introduced in 2000. Therefore, it also means that 5x mixture grinders were disposed of in uh, 2000 to keep the total constant. Now, if 5x mixture grinders were disposed of in 2000, then 25x mixture grinders were manufactured or introduced in 1998. Now, in 1998, 25x mixture grinders were introduced. Now, if you check the total, the total has increased by 40. Now, for the total to increase by 40, the number of mixture grinders disposed of will have to be 25x minus 40. Let's have a look at this once more. 182 was the initial total. Let's look at this once again. The total number of mixture grinders were 182 in 97. 25x were introduced in 98. Therefore, the number over here will have to be 25x minus 40 to reach a total of 222. Now, so we've got the number of mixture grinders which we have disposed of in 1998. If you look at this equation carefully, you can make out that x cannot be 0 or 1 because if x was 0 or 1 this value would become negative which means now x will have to be 2 or more if we now go ahead to 96 the number of mixture grinders manufactured will have to be 5 times of this which is 125x minus 200 so the number of mixture grinders manufactured in 1996 is 125x minus 200 now from a previous discussion, if x has to be 2 or more, let's take, a, uh, take an example if x is 3. If x was 3, the number of mixture grinders manufactured or introduced in 1996 will be 125, 3 375, 375 minus 200, 175. Now if 175 mixture grinders are introduced over here, 
then the total can never be 162. If I'm introducing 175 mixture grinders over here, and there is already a 120 mixture grinders from the earlier part, my total. Will now, if we go to 1996, the number of mixture grinders introduced in 1996 will have to be five times of this number, which is 125x minus 200. If this number is 125x minus 200, similarly what we did in 1998, we will get the number of mixture grinders disposed of as 125x minus 242 and the difference between these two values is 42. You can check this once more. 120 minus this plus this has to come out to 162 which we are getting. So therefore the number of mixture grinders Disposed of in 1996 is 125x minus 242. As we've already earlier discarded that x cannot be 0 and 1, and x has to be more than 2. Now, if x is 3, if x was 3, 125, 3 is 7, 375, minus 242 would be 133. Now, if the number of mixture grinders disposed of over here was 133, which means you would have introduced a lot many mixture grinders in 1994 close to 650 which would never land and hence your total would never land up to 162 in 1996 so based on that we realize x cannot be 3 or more let's go through this calculation once more if x was 3 or more even if x was 3 the number of mixture kind is disposed of in 1996 would be 133 which means the number of mixture kind is manufactured in 1994 would have to be close to 650 and therefore the total in 1996 could never add up to 162 and as this would not be possible x cannot be 3 or more so we have now proved x can be only 2 now x can be only 2 the value which we were looking for that is this value can be only 10 that is the number of mixture grinders disposed of in 2000 can be only 10 and hence that also solves the last question where most common answer given by a lot of uh, in a lot of places in all the sets uh, where you will find the set is cannot be determined and hence we have realized that this answer is not cannot be determined but the answer is the fourth option on going through this whole set we realize that this set is of four questions and if once you solve the set and had a look at the set you realize that the first three questions were pretty doable and the fourth question in terms of the calculation or whatever the amount of cross calculations you needed that if this value was so much then the next value would be so much was a pretty long one and hence in a test scenario if I had solved even three questions out of this it would have been an excellent approach to the set so the approach to such a set or even maybe two questions somebody could have just solved the two questions on Naya mixture grinders and left alone the two questions of Prana mixture grinders but the third question of Prana mixture grinders was not so difficult because you had a direct value given for that the 10 Prana mixture grinders disposed of in 1997 so, with all these things you realize that a set of bar chart, which initially looked like a bar chart set, was actually maybe not a bar chart set, was a much detailed set of maybe logical DI. Okay, and hence you need to realize that when you are solving such a set, you need to be very careful with what information you have and what information you are comprehending.